Hello everyone, take a section of the hair from the top part of the head and then tie it up using a rubber band. Add another rubber band in the middle of it and then make a twist out of it. Take two more sections of the hair from the front, tie it up at the back and then pull it through the initial twist that you had created. Repeat this step by taking multiple sections of the hair from the front and then pulling it through the twist that you had initially created. Do this as many times as you can. Once you reach the base, you may add some decorative clips to it. We have chosen to add stars. For our next hairdo, take a section of the hair from the top, tie a rubber band to it. Make sure that it is neat and tight. Once you do this, make a division in the section and then pull the hair through. Take a section of the hair from the left side, make a division in it and then once again, put it through. This should make a twist. Do the same on the right side as well. This is what it should look like so far. Now, join all of these three together using a rubber band and add a decorative clip to it. For our next hairdo, take a section of the hair from the left top side and then using a comb, tie it into place. Now, take some hair from the right side as well and then knot it along with the left side of the hair. Once you knot it, come to the bottom and once again form another knot. Do this until you reach the bottom and then you can tie it up. Now, take a section of the hair from the left side and then tie a rubber band to it. Make a twist in the hair as such and then tie these two together. After this, you may add a decorative clip. For our next hairdo, start off by putting a clip in the middle of the hair. Then take a section of the hair from the left side of the head and then put it through the central clip. Do the same on the right side. Twist it before inserting it into place. Take sections from the hair from the left side and the right side and put it through the clip. Next, start off by braiding the center top of the hair at the back. Take a section of the hair from the right side and make a braid out of it. Do the same on the left side as well. Join the three of them using a rubber band. Once you have done this, in the remaining portion containing a ponytail, you may add a rubber band in the middle, make a division in the hair and then twist it in on itself. This should form two twists in the side as such. Take the whole hair and pull it through this twist. This is what it should look like. Add a clip to it. Next, start off by taking a section of the hair from the top and then tie a rubber band to it. Now, divide this hair into two portions. Starting with the right side of the hair, start off by braiding the hair. As you progress with the braid, however, remember to include sections of the hair from the rest of the hair, that is, from the right side of the scalp. So it is almost like a French braid, however, you are only doing this on one side of the hair. Once you are done with the right side, move over to the left division of the hair and begin to braid that side as well. Once again, while you are braiding the left side, take sections of the hair from the left side of the head and include it in the left division of the braid. Once you are done with both the braids, join them in the center, add a rubber band and then you may add a decorative clip. This is what it should look like. Next, take a section of the hair and then gather it more towards the left side as such. Tie a rubber band there. Divide this hair in the center and then pull the hair through. Roll it in on itself so that it forms a twist. Then, using your fingers, loosen some strands of the hair. Tie another rubber band and make a ponytail out of the remaining hair that is left out. Once again, make a division in this hair, roll it into itself and then, using your fingers, loosen the hair. This is what it should look like. Once you are done with this, make a braid or twist the hair. We have chosen to twist the hair. Once you twist the hair, roll it upwards. Using a flow prong clip, pin it up. Once you are done with this, you may add another pin or bobby pins to put it in its place. Then you may add a decorative clip. Thank you for watching.